So the biggest news coming out of the Carolinas outside of J. Cole dropping a surprise uh, mixtape is Derrick Brown has received a four-year contract extension from the Carolina Panthers worth up to $96 million. Yes, 96 M's. And $3 billion guaranteed money, which is what's important in this deal. And this makes Derrick Brown amongst most of the highest paid at the position. Top five defensive tackle money for a top five defensive tackle very very well deserving of this i know fans were getting pretty antsy about when would this happen we know what happened with the brian burr situation how it drug out from year to year it was all the back and forth and i think people on both sides of the argument whether you thought he deserved the money or not were just tired of the situation dragging out and it looks like that's what the team was trying to avoid here by inking their brown and the timing for me is very very ironic because let's talk about this because on my channel i told you guys before Derek brown and his company his people whatever his his team uh like people like to say nowadays is probably monitoring the brian burns situation Derek brown's agent is drew rosehouse drew rosehouse is the og triple og in this sports space as an agent he's represented guys like back in the day like t.o i remember when t.o was going through all his stuff with the eagles he represented him he also represented antonio brown through all the ups and downs and whatever it was but he represents some high profile clients he's seen a lot of situation and contract situations most recently he represented dj moore and one of the things that's really consistent with drew rosenhaus he doesn't allow his clients to pay play on that fifth year option if they are well deserving of a contract we saw with dj moore dj moore the fifth year option was placed on him but he signed a contract going into that fifth year got an extension which made him a hundred million dollar wide receiver we know how that story ended he's up in chicago uh making that money <laughs> and being productive for them but the same thing with Derek brown Derek brown's fifth year option roughly about a calendar year ago was ex exercised and he had a phenomenal year this past year i mean he made the pro bowl for the first time he broke the record for the defensive tackles for in terms of uh tackles of the season um he's number one in run stop win rate according to espn he's number 20 in pass rush win rate uh as monks interior linemen according to espn so he's in that upper echelon of defensive tackles even pff rated him as a top three or top three or four interior player in the league so he's amongst the best there he had the resume to prove it it's not just one season for him even last year he played very very well and his last year under phil snow um really came into his own then but being put into the jerry Vero system really allowed him to take off and if you're subscribed to the channel you probably saw my film breakdown breaking down why Derrick brown was so successful in this jerry Vero system but just to put it uh summarize it he aligned in places that gave him favorable matchups. He aligned over tackles more so than lying in the interior in front of guards and center. So against tackles, he's stronger than them. He's surprisingly too quick for them at times. He can just overwhelm them in the running game. This guy's not a small guy. This guy is 6'5", 330 pounds. That's the size or bigger than most tackles like i said he has the strength to pretty much abuse them in the running game and allow him to use that length and use that size to pretty much just be unstoppable and that's why his run stop win rate is so high so it's just amazing that many people thought that hey maybe Derek brown how will he fit into a three four many people thought that okay hey he's not the type of guy that needs to be lined up as a nose tackle and just eating up space no a jury very decided to make him a i guess defensive end and a three four six system and line him head up with tackles in that five technique and it's done wonders for Derrick Brown's career um, it's hard to double team him when he's out there and when they do he still makes them look silly because of his ability so I just think that he's thriving in this system another year will only be even better for him as he continues to get better at just being elite at stacking and shedding as in taking uh, control of blockers and then just shedding them when it's time to make things happen that change of system for him has been huge and the trajectory of his career has continued to point up all that to be said he was very very deserving of a contract extension with multiple guys in the league inking contracts like christian uh wilkins chris jones from the chiefs and um just the matter bouquet from the uh ravens the time was now to strike hot and the, the timing of this with workouts and off-season programs starting for the panthers on april 8th it was very very key to get this contract deal done now because like i said with your rosenhouse you don't want this thing to turn into a holdout and typically before those voluntary workouts that happen at the beginning of the, the offseason that's kind of the first nugget of when a holdout might happen 
guys like to work out on their own as well but Brett Derek Brown has never missed uh, OTAs or whatever so for him to miss it this time would really say a lot about the status of his contract so the Panthers being that they're trying to put this new regime in place they're trying to turn the page on what the BS that was going on they do not want that bad PR coming out because if Derek Brown missed the workouts you know these people online like Pro Football Talk with Florio all those click aggregators on Twitter are going to start spreading the rumors about the holdout and how it's going to be the same old same old with the Panthers and how they always deal away their first round picks and when that stuff starts coming out that's when the Sharks start lurking. You see that we traded away a lot of players for chump change we just traded Brian Burns for a second round pick probably could have got more DJ Moore was given up in that trade to move up for uh for Bryce Young, but we probably should have kept him because we needed a receiver. And they gave away Christian McCaffrey, the offensive player of the year, for less than the first round pick. So you got people that are going to start hitting you up, thinking the same old, same old, and try to spread rumors, plant nuggets, try to lowball you offers, and try to make this contract situation nastier than it really should be. So being able to get this done before those workouts, that way you put all that stuff to bed is perfect timing this is just stuff we talked about on this channel multiple times so if you've been tuning in you already know about this but if you haven't make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell icon because i like to give an interesting perspective on some of these topics but i'm all over panthers news i do a live stream on tuesdays a lot of film breakdowns and draft content so if you are into the panthers i am your go-to place so make sure you are subscribed and please give this video a thumbs up it really helps me out in the algorithm but i'm glad to have Derek brown uh on the team going forward i feel like it may him be safe enough to uh, buy a jersey now because besides bryce young i have no other relevant jerseys in my closet of people that are still on the team so i'm happy to see that Derek brown actually got his contract extension let's just hope he's here more than one year before they trade him away like that did uh dj moore just joking. Uh, but you guys, let me know how you feel about the extension down below in the comments. I'm Aaron Duggan signing off. I'll see you next time. Peace.